Uh, here you are, it's about 45 seconds after I turned the camera off from that last bit after feeding Jeff and here comes one of the snails. These, I've got a black one, a green one and a purplish pink one. The black one is definitely my favorite. He is the most active. He is everywhere. You know, He's on the glass. He's up in the filter. He's just, every time I look at the tank he's somewhere new. And he is definitely the first responder when it comes to food in the tank. So he's coming over to the, the little shrimpies there. See how he takes them. The other times he's come out for them, it's always been a... Uh, I've always buried them in the sand. And this time Jeff's actually left some. So he's actually just munching away. So, some snails, the ones up here, the astray and the, I uh, can't remember what those other ones are called, um, those are herbivores. They'll eat the algae and whatnot, and these guys, the strongest grazers, or nestarius, whatever you want to call them, they're carnivores. And they will eat bits of food that the corals don't grab, that the shrimp don't grab. So I'm pretty pleased with my cleanup crew. The only thing I'm worried about really is if my pepper sh peppermint shrimp were to start munching on my corals. Um, frags are pretty cheap, but in the long run I would get rid of the shrimp if he started doing that. So I'll probably click on in a few more seconds here if the other, the other snails come out because this is pretty rad. See ya. So Jeff's come back out for some more. And I noticed another one of the snails is coming out. Don't know where he was sleeping. I haven't seen that guy in a while, so I actually thought he was dead. But looks like he's a bit directionally impaired compared to the black one because he's going totally. Oh, oh, I think he picked up the scent. Yeah, he's turned. No, there's still the green one. I did see the green one yesterday, so I'm not worried about him being dead. And the good thing about having the shrimp is if one of those little guys die for whatever reason, you know, old age, Know, got a fart stuck in their shell or something the shrimp will probably find them flip them over and eat them which is a good thing because you know sure he'll clean up Tasia and a nuisance uh, anemones but he will also eat any crap that the snails can't which is pretty good anyway I'll update you again in a second if the third one comes out They are pretty cool little little snails, but they do need to eat, and they need to eat meat from time to time. They will eat detritus, but a good little snack of this is not bad. And, you know, they'll eat when you start feeding your corals. You don't have to feed them specifically. Once you get corals and start feeding those, um, you know, once every two, three days, then that's when they'll get their their nourishment otherwise they'll just get it from oh dude just fell oh, we didn't die anyway oh there you go he picked himself up sort of well we'll see what happens <laughs> yeah they'll just eat whatever they can get normally and just come back over another helping Back in he goes. The other guy picked himself up. Oh, looks like he's like a bit too much to drink. And this fine Easter. Still no sign of the third one. Curious. Keep an eye out. I haven't uh, 
shuffled my sand around as IPSF um, suggests. So maybe when I get that done in the next day or so, I'll be able to find out whether or not the other, the third and final snail is still alive and kicking. Because when you stir up the the substrate, that's where they they relax in, and when you stir it, they'll come out. Anyway, so long again. Well, oh, there he is. He's coming out. He's got the scent. So there's the last two. There's that guy. And then there's this directionally challenged guy. <laughs> turn turn right. No, no, your other right. I'll make it, I hope. And here comes I think I'll name him Greeny. So we got Blaggy, Greeny, and Orangey. I guess so. I, I think Orangey's given up. He just said, ah, screw it. I'll never make it to the food. Sorry about the bad zooming. Amateur cameraman. There, he's taking a nice big chunk of them shrimp. Then he'll probably go to it back to his lair. Black shell lives right in there. He's always hiding up in among these rocks. There he is. He kind of buries in there and there. The green one comes from I think he I think he works the left side there. And this guy He's always coming from the right, so they've kind of divided up the tank. They've got their turfs, and if ever the two should meet, or three should meet, hell on earth. Not like the strombus grazers that IPSF has. He's, he's got some pretty freaky ones if you've watched his videos. Anyway, that's good news. All three are accounted for. That's the only thing with snails. You always got to kind of look around and make sure they're all they're all there. Maybe in a bigger tank where you had more water volume, wouldn't be such a concern. But in such a small nano system, if one of your snails die, it could really upset the balance of the water. It could spike the ammonia and the nitrates and the nitrates. So making sure you have all your your livestock accounted for and in good condition is, is important. Um, for those who are watching and did remember, I had seven of the herbivore snails last weekend when I added them. I only have six now. One did die. It was one of the uh, one of the big ones. Um, he basically just sat for three, four days, it would come out of his shell a little bit and scoot right back in and just slowly died. and one day picked him up because he still wasn't moving so I gave him about five days and you know turned him over and gave him a little poke and nothing gave him a little poke and nothing and you know smelt the shell and it was just reeking he was dead um, if I had left him in then the shrimp probably would have ate him but I didn't exactly want to get the peppermint shrimp acquired to the taste of snails so unless he just finds it accidentally, I'd rather remove it myself. Well, it looks like the orange guy is eventually going to make it. He's on the right scent now. Sort of. <laughs> anyway, take care. Good luck with your reefs.